Good morning, gladiators. We are now going into week two of grading period three. Today is Monday, January 11th, and we are going to start on topographic maps today. So today is a lot of background information and completing items in your IMB. So we're going to start in our IMB on slide 35. So if we look at slide 35, it's asking you to read some pages out of your textbook, pages 389 to 392. Remember, this link right here will open those textbook pages for you. After you have read, explain to me what is a contour line. This is key to our understanding of topographic maps. And then summarize those bullet points on the characteristics of a contour line. When you have completed that, go to slide 36. On slide 36, there's a video for you to watch that goes over what is called a contour map or a topographic map. After watching that, review these notes. You need to know about the contour lines and the spacing of those and what that represents. Go to slide 37. On slide 37, it explains to you some of uh, the key terms that you need to know. Index contour, contour interval, okay, and what they represent. Over here on the left, it explains how to calculate what we call the contour interval. On the right, I'm asking you to identify the elevation of points B, C, and D by reading the map and looking at the contour lines. When you've completed that, you are going to go on to the next slide, which is slide 38. On slide 38, you're looking at some of the features that would be found on a topographic map, such as a river or in this case over here, a depression, such as uh, what a crater might leave behind. When you have completed all of these pages and you've reviewed the content, then you're going to go into our folder, and there is an exit ticket for you to complete. So if you open up the topographic map exit ticket, it should be just a Google slide. On the Google slide, I'm asking you to think of what you just learned, and we're going to calculate the change in elevation as a hiker went from either point W or point Y to point X. Now, I want to know the change in elevation for the hikers that took the steepest path. Think about how we know the steepest. When you complete that, submit it, and like always, I'll put my notes back to you in the bottom. If you have not completed the test from last week, please make sure to take care of that or any other assignments. The gradebook is current and you need to check it. If you have any questions, like always, message me or come to our Zoom. Have a great day, gladiators.